<laughs> they annihilated them. <laughs> oh man. Hello to all the memes and bubbles. Let us continue where we left off the last time. The next achievement that we are trying to get is the carnivore achievement and we are only one eighth done. That is why one of our main priorities is increasing the number of incubators that we have. In order to build more incubators, we need to refine more metal. Hence, get the copper ore that we sent over from the other planetoid and make some copper out of it. And we already got a new care package. I think I'm gonna go the hard route and take another dupe. Yeah, I'm gonna take the strength 9 supply buff dupe. Bunny, welcome to the base. Our main priority at the moment is to get our critters to produce more eggs. But we need to take care of some smaller things that are in the way of that. First I want to increase the oxygen that our dupes get on the manual generators. Later on we can probably place down a second vent. In order to increase the size of the bedrooms I'm going to sweep up all this polluted water and because it is annoying me. And then we want to drop the water here. Dirt water can go there, maybe make this a little bit bigger, place down a couple more of the bottle emptiers and make this water reservoir more effective. Now that the dupes have done this, we can place down two more bottle emptiers and set the existing ones to polluted water and salt water. Copy the settings over and enable the auto bottling, don't forget that. Because we want our dupes to get rid of this water here, like Harold is doing right now. Harold is transporting over the polluted water bottles and dropping them right there. Another thing is the airflow in the base is really bad. So I'm going to add two more airflow tiles to every floor around here. And we can add another two ranches to our ranch skyscraper. But this time we have to make sure that everything is made out of copper ore. I was planning to fill those two ranches with hatches and hatchlings too. And don't worry about a single pip in space, I'm gonna catch that later. Another important point is to automate this better. Because our hydrogen generators are not running at the moment, the power is mainly coming from our duplicants. This is unnecessary because this could produce more power. So we need another smart battery. Place it right here. Oh, this is made out of aluminum. Interesting. Grab one of the automation cables and hook it up to the manual generators, like so. Then hook up the battery to the main grid with a big cable. Give this a higher priority and lower the priority for the manual generators again. And then let's wait for the dupes. That has been finished, so everything that is left to do is set the right amount of high threshold and low threshold. So since this is set to 90 and 70, we will be setting this to around 80 and 50. So if the low threshold of 50 for this battery is reached, the dupes will start to run on the manual generators until the high threshold of 80 is reached. But since this one runs as soon as it reaches 70, the dupes should not run on the manual generator until the battery is draining too fast for the hydrogen generators to keep up. That is my thought process behind this. We have a slight problem here. The pips are starving again and I can't plant down any arbor trees because most of the arbor trees are down here and I don't want to uproot them. Hence I rang all the pips that are starving, let's see this one, in the hopes that I can drop them down here so they can eat once. Let's remove the critter maximum or set it very high and then set the priority of the critter drop off right here higher than the critter drop off upstairs. And there we have Mima wrangling up the little pips. One has been caught, the second one transport it over. Thank you Turner. Very nice. Now that the pips are down here, let's stop the game, wait for them to eat or catch the pips that have already eaten, wrangle them and send them up again. I'm gonna make this quick for you guys. I checked every single pip and around four of them had already eaten so I could wrangle them and send them up. Nice. Pip has been wrangled up and two pips have been delivered. And since our dupes need something to eat, we can grab a little pipsqueak and make food out of it. Probably a couple more. Because at cycle 74 it is about time that we eat a little bit of meat. Otherwise we won't get the achievement done. Let's check our duplicates that are cooking. Mush fry? No we don't want it. We only want barbecue forever. Ren collected the meat and is delivering it to the kitchen. And now... Stop it Ren. And now Mei is making some beautiful barbecue out of it. Hopefully. No, just a mush bar. Let's disallow the mush bars for now. 
If we want to have any chance at a carnivore achievement, we need more incubators. That's why we need a floor, a power transformer and split off our power grid even more. Reroute the smaller already existing cables, place down a couple of heavy watt joint plates and heavy watt wires, connect them to the power transformer and make the priority a little bit higher. Let us quickly check what we got. We got a Sweetle larvae. This is one barbecue worth of meat. Or I guess we need another two, so let's just get Lyra. Our ranges finally have been built, so we can copy over the settings. And since it is already time for our dupes to eat again, let's collect a couple of those tiny pips. And a couple more from over here. Poor little pips. Joshua, how did you manage to do that? I wanted to close off the room because we are losing oxygen and hydrogen. But uh, those dupes, every time. Okay, Joshua, how can we get you there? How about this? This should be enough for Joshua. Yeah, exactly. All right, I forgot about a new radiation. Our dupes will be glowing in the dark if I keep that up. Let's quickly build the roof. Otherwise, we might get mutated critters. Disclaimer, critter can't really get mutated in this game at the moment. This is unnecessary. I'm spending time on this. Back to here, we need more incubators. You know the drill, place them down, a couple of sensors, a couple of switches, the cables and hook them up to the power grid. Also, we need more refined metal, so why not place down an order of 10? That should be fine. The new incubators have already been built, two of them filled with eggs and they are being lullabied at the moment. Another Sweetle egg just has been deposited, the dupe is lullabying this and now we can deactivate this. To further advance our achievements, it may be necessary to place down more ranches, so why not place one down right here? Our dupes need something to stand on a wall and we need to get rid of all this material in here. Necessary ranching equipment made out of copper ore. And let's make this a hedge ranch. Someone is entombed. How? How dupes? Just, just why? Could you? Thank you. Those dupes. Ah, this is made out of sand. No. Okay. Unfortunate, but that happens. And you are food now. And they are food too. We need to get to our calories. And then we can just copy over the settings from the hatches. We had a little problem over at Nisbet's hub. I sadly disabled the microbe musher so Nisbet has nothing to eat. I just pressed the enable building button for some odd reason. So for now it is time for the red alert. Nisbet has produced some food but she's still down to around 300 kilocalories. So let's hope that she eats something. And what about Max? Max doesn't get anything to eat. We just send him over to the main planetoid. Gone. There he is. Let's check on Nisbet again. Nisbet is eating. Ah, nice. Now we have Max here on the main planetoid that is also starving. So let's cull a couple of critters. First, the tiny little pips. Shinebug, what are you doing there? We have two Sweetle eggs. Very nice. We will take them and place them immediately in one of the incubators. After that we can place on more incubators to the right of that. And as always, more automation. If you are wondering what I do in the background, mostly micromanaging the eggs. If there is an egg that is not lullaby like this, I activate this manually, wait for the dupes to lullaby this and deactivate it. I know it's time consuming, but it really helps with the speed of producing the little critters. Here we have Nicola lullabying the egg and I can deactivate this now. If I wouldn't do that, I would have to wait until the next cycle hits the green spot. The dupes are starving again, so more pips and more hatches. And it actually would not be overkill to place down a whole nother row of incubators. But I don't have any more metal. But we could prepare the electronical grid. We can also get rid of the pitcher pumps, mop up all the liquid and place down more beds. Because I guess a couple of our dupes don't have a bed on this planet. Come on bird, you can do it. Come on bird. Oh my god. The dupes have finished this, now we can check for the dupes that don't have a bed, like Max. The power grid has been finished and I added three more incubators. We don't have any eggs to fill them though, but we filled every other incubator, except this one. 
How's the refined metal? Not enough. There are pips. I can see you. You are food now. We do need food anyways. Four dupes are starving. So let's check for more young pips or young hedges. There's a young pip. And um, maybe we have a hedge that is only a day old like this one. It took three duplicates to kill a single hatchling. Man, those stone hatches are really hard. The food is being transported down to our grill, where barbecue is being produced. Now we need to deactivate the mush bars, because we are at cycle 80 now. And we do still have 20 cycles to get 400,000 calories of meat eaten by the duplicates. So let's check that quickly. For those who do not know it, you can go to the menu, colony summary, then click on carnivore. And can see that we have eaten 84,000 calories already. We got a new little pipling. Pipling? <laughs> a small little pip. And let's see if those beaters drop something useful. I am very interested in that. And... Mm, doesn't seem like it. Well then, uh, sorry beater. And sadly it's time to eat more critters, so a couple of hatchlings should do. <laughs> Those are so tough. What do we have printed? Grub fruit preserve. No, we don't want our duplicates to eat that. Do we want another duplicate? <laughs> Man, we do have so much of that. Cuisine, yeah, come on. Otto, welcome to the base. Absolutely unnecessary, but there you go. Oh, our first duplicant has died because of starvation, probably. Harold, Harold, I can't even see you behind this mess. Yeah, has starved to death, so it is time to eat the pips. Let's eat them for now. Okay, a couple more mush bars. Let's quickly check the consumables. The dupes should not be able to eat meat. Nice. I'd rather lose a couple of dupes than lose my meat before it is turned into barbecue. Barbecue is allowed and mush bars are allowed. We got our first new egg, a smooth hatchling egg. We also managed to not lose any more duplicates because of the critters that we grilled. I think we can give Harold a proper burial ground. Right here in the heavy radiation near the space. Coal. Not helpful. The beaters are getting a little bit too far out of their natural habitat, so be gone, beater. Take a look at Gosman, the psycho. She's so happy about killing the critters. The others at least have the decency to be sad about it. There, Sparkle Streaker Gosman. Really happy. You totally missed it, but Gosman was crying at the grave of our fallen comrade. And then she was happy again immediately. Gosman, you are pretty sus. Right now we are at 188,000 calories. So we have half the way to go. And we have 16 more cycles to do so. That should be manageable. Because the dupes mostly eat barbecue at the moment. All those dupes munching, barbecue. Barbecue here, being grilled, meat being delivered and barbecue being stored. So this is looking very good. Barbecue being dumped. <laughs> no, someone died and I missed it again. Why and how? Nisbet, Nisbet, no, not Nisbet. Oh man. Well, I, I know why Nisbet died. We probably forgot, yeah, I forgot to set the mush bar to a high value or to forever. And Nisbet has nothing more to eat. Well, had nothing more to eat. I'm very sorry, Nisbet. At the moment, we have four more starving duplicants, so I set the high priority for grilling the barbecue. I also let them harvest a lot of hatches. Now we got a couple of barbecue, Ashkan is eaten, but we still do have a couple starving duplicants. For example, Devon is starving. I gave Devon some downtime, and now I'm hoping that he will eat something. Otherwise, we make another grave. Devon, what are you doing? Seriously? Morning, yeah, you will be dead soon too. If you keep that up, 200 calories. Devon, still starving. Going back to work. We do have barbecue lying around. I can see it on the calorie count. If you seriously want to die, then just go ahead. Drop. Storing. 
Come on, last try for you. You will get another downtime. If you still don't eat, that's on you. And what the heck? Why? Go ahead. Go ahead, Devin. You deserve this. There we go. Man, those dupes live a long time. Even after starving or when starving. Devin got a hundred calories left. I killed a couple more critters. And this is probably his last chance to get some calories. And what is he doing? Standing there and chit-chatting. Devin's last sleep probably. Yep. This, this is on you. Hey look, as if we knew it, we already prepared the taste for memorial. I guess it is time to clean out another ranch. And there's Devon. <laughs> we used up the water up to here. Wow, okay, let's break through this. We do have enough oxygen, I guess. Yeah, a thousand kilograms per tile. But our hydrogen is stable at around 70 to 80 kilograms because we are using up a lot. There we go, Joshua. By the way, I haven't seen anyone going up to Devon until now. There may be a reason for that. Oh no, can you see this pipsqueak? This is apparently a already dead and happy pipsqueak. So how does this bug happen? I told the duplicants to kill the critter with the attack critter button while the critter was still in the incubator. Then a dupe came by and brought the critter into the ranch. But simultaneously, another dupe took care of the attacking task. So now we have immortal undead pip. They actually have radioactive material from somewhere. Probably from the bees. The Infini Pip. Still there. The barbecue mass production is ongoing. And we are at almost 300,000 calories. So if we would annihilate all of our critters that we have right now, this probably would be enough for the duplicants to be fed and the goal to be reached. Like this. What this also means is, I'm not planning on keeping this amount of duplicants. So, we probably need more memorials up here. <laughs> they annihilated them. <laughs> oh man. They are so hungry. And why w do we only have one cooking dupe? I have like three or four of those, seriously. Uh, I'm going to check the priorities quick. Yeah, okay, and there he is. We just got three new hatchlings. That will be a feast. Yeah, 24,000 calories. That is nice. How close are we, by the way? Yeah, just 24,000 calories more, which is exactly what we have at the moment. And here's the immortal pip. I'm just going to wait for the duplicants to reach the achievement and I'll see you there. We only need 8,000 more calories eaten. So dupes, are those the last calories? Or do we have to wait longer? Bunny is eating, Gossman is doing whatever. Come on, come on guys. Yeah, Gossman, keep munching. Still munching. The suspense is building up. <laughs> and unreachable food. Do we still have a few calories left? Come on, game. There we go, carnivore achieved. But sadly, for the super sustainable, we are not even halfway through. Almost halfway, but not fully. So we need to produce a lot more energy and that could be something for the next episode. So check out this random video and I see you there.